Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my content coming up. And if you've been rock with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Y'all, I know I have not been showing up for Small Talk Saturdays, and I'm so, so sorry. Ooh, time management has been a bit but I'm getting it together. I know some of you participated in my live last Saturday. I did Small Talk Saturday Live and we just talked and answered questions. That was a lot of fun for me. And during that live, I did say that Small Talk Saturdays will take a different direction. Originally, when I started this series, I wanted it to be a time for us to talk about some things outside of hair, sometimes while I am doing hair. So that's what I'm gonna get back to. I know we got caught up doing a lot of YouTube and social media content, which I really love. I love sharing those tips with you all, but I'm ready to switch it up to what I originally intended. So. If you are new here, please catch up on my other Small Talk Saturdays. A lot of gems dropped on how to grow on YouTube, start a channel, increase your engagement, just grow on social media in general. It's all there. The playlist will be linked down below. I also did start doing coaching individually, but I haven't been doing it lately, mainly because my schedule has been so packed with teacher duties because I do teach full time. However, I am still offering coaching on certain evenings, so I will leave the link in the description box. And if you're interested in getting coaching on growing on social media, hit up that link. All right, so about today's video, y'all saw the title. We're gonna be talking about how I stay organized as a YouTuber, and this tool has been a godsend. I wanted to wait after I've been using it for a few months so I can really give my true feel on it. And spoiler alert, I love it. So we're gonna be talking about the tool Trello. Trello is a very easy, very visual, very flexible, project management tool. It organizes your projects in these columns on different boards and it just helps you move things around so that you know what you have to do next. It helps you organize your different tasks for different projects. So I've been using it as a content calendar and as a way to organize my different YouTube projects. So if you're ready to see how I use the tool Trello, keep on watching. Now Trello uses the Kanban method in their project management tool. The Kanban method is used as a way to visually improve like the systems you use in order to start a project and complete it. And the Kanban method just allows you to visually see the workflow of certain projects. And I am definitely a visual person, so this has been excellent for me. So we're just gonna dive right into Trello. I use it on my computer and I'm gonna show you how it works. So here we have Is That Your Hair Content Planner. This is what my Trello board looks like. You are able to create multiple boards on Trello. This is a free service. However, if you pay for it, you get more customizable features. But I just use the free version and that's fine for me. Also, the free version, you get one extra tool for free. So for me, I use the calendar as my extra tool and that's been perfect for me. So if we look in here, I have different columns here. This is just personal things I need for myself. And then you'll see I have all my video ideas for Small Talk Saturday. And then I have all the videos I plan on doing within a month, the month of September. I have the videos that I plan on filming for the certain week. And then, and then I have an editing column, which shows you what's in the midst of being edited right now. And then I have my done column. This has been so awesome for me to see visually. Y'all don't even understand, like I love it. And the fact that you can customize the colors is really great. I know Troll does have templates that you can use, but I just decided to use a blank template and create my own. So the reason why I do it this way is because I just like being able to see all of my projects in one column and I love that I can move it over. So for example, I have this video that I have to film right here, right? <laughs> and once I'm done with this video, I'll literally move it to the editing column so I can see where I am in the process of this project doing Small Talk Saturday. And once I'm done, I just move it to this column. You see how that works? Now it's up to you how you wanna create your system, but I have figured out a color coding system for me. So all of my Small Talk Saturday videos are in blue, all of my um, regular hair videos are in purple. My $20 Tuesday videos are in yellow. Um, this should be in yellow. I don't know why that's green. <laughs> Let me change that. And when you go in here, you can change the cover. Literally, I'm going to change that to yellow. You can do it as a cover like this or for the whole thing. 
You can also put your due date, which will show up on the calendar. I'll show you after this. You can write a description. I know for a small talk Saturday, I like to use the description section to outline what I'm going to say. And you can also show the different activity that you've done within this particular project. And then you can also add a checklist here. You can name your checklist. So that can be maybe hair tips or something like that. And then you literally can just add tip one, add tip two, tip two, add. And then you can check it off as you complete it. And as you complete each part of this project, it'll show you a percentage. So it says 50%. And if I complete everything, it says 100% and it turns green. So just having these visuals, if you are a visual learner, worker like I am, this is awesome. Now Trello is a project management tool, right? So it is made for teamwork as well, which is why you will see on certain sections, you'll see members. And when you click here, you can actually add members to your board. So that way everyone can see the same project. And if someone else is in charge of something within your project, they can individually add on what they need to add on on their own without having you to do it. I also use the labeling system here and pretty much like just how my cover for 20 out Tuesday is yellow, my label is yellow as well. I like to match that up. The reason why labels are important is because if you want to search for a certain project. So if I want to search for Small Talk Saturdays, I can search by the label color. I also like the label color because it's great visually for me on my calendar. So let's look at my calendar here. You'll see, this is what my calendar is looking like, right? Um, what I love about the calendar is just like, perfect way to see what my entire month is looking like. And some of these things are definitely going to change. So. This video is not being done right away. So that's, I'm just gonna put that somewhere in October. And this video, I'm gonna put over here. You can easily just move things around as you see fit. And I love this because I can see everything I need to do for the entire month. I just love how I can quickly glance in it and be like, okay, bam, I have three videos on track for this week. This is what I need to do. Right now, I know it's showing that I have a lot of videos. I need to move some stuff around. I definitely posted four videos in the past five days. I'm exhausted and this is going to be video number five, but that is okay because we are here to work, honey. <laughs> so yes, definitely, definitely love this calendar feature, but I use Trello in conjunction with my planner. All of my small tasks and details, I use my passion planner. I have a, a large pink one and it's like such a godsend. It helps me plan out all of my individual tasks I need to do for these projects that are on my content calendar. One of my favorite people on Instagram right now, Maddie James, she put it very plainly, like you can have a content calendar and that's great, but you need a place to outline the process. So between the description box in Trello and my planner, that is where I outline the process. And if you go in Trello, you can easily just add another list here if you want to. And you can add, I think you can add as many columns as you see fit. My favorite thing about the Trello tool is just the ease at which you can move things around. Like, I love that. That is one thing that I hate about my planner. I hate crossing things out. And I realized that sometimes I wouldn't even write something down because I was unsure of whether I was going to do it at that time. But then I would forget about it. So it would really cause a major conundrum for me. So having Trello where I can easily just you know, spread out my thoughts, spread out my projects, Whenever I have an idea, a video idea, I just, you know, look at Troll on my phone, jot it down, and then I come back to my cute computer and organize it later. It's great for that. So I highly recommend as a content creator, or if you have a job that requires you to manage multiple projects, YouTube is definitely a job like that. Please consider using Trello, please, please, please. Some of you may have heard of Asana as well. That's another project management tool. I started off wanting to try Asana because I heard about it from Erin On Demand. But when I went into the tool, I didn't like how plain it looked. And I found out about Trello and I was like, wow, this is way more colorful. I like that. I didn't even show you everything that Trello can do, but even, even here, if, if I, I wanted, wanted to add a different, different cover, like, like if I wanted to upload, upload a cover, cover image, image, I could, like, like if, if I, I wanted this to be, be I don't know, let's, let's see. see. If I wanted this to be my face as the cover, I could totally I upload to it as an attachment. As so, cover, and that's how, how it, it could look. look. But you, you could also do, do 
It also, it also depends, depends on, on your picture. picture. Like, like here. here. Here's a picture. Here's a picture. And when, and I, when I make the picture, picture see, it looks like, like this. So, so, to me, being able to see a picture associated with your project, I'm sure is very visually stimulating for someone. I don't, I don't normally put my pictures up, though, up because, because I just, I just rather not, but I'm just letting you know that this is something that you can do with Trello. So yes, y'all, this is the tool I use when it comes to organizing all of my different YouTube projects. This is the content calendar I use. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10, use Trello. And I'm pretty sure if I were to pay for it, I would get even more benefits out of it. But right now, the free version is working very well for me. I've noticed a world of a difference. Oh my goodness, world of a difference. I feel like I'm completing my projects so much more quickly and efficiently due to this tool, so highly recommend. Let me know what you feel about this video in the comments down below. Is this helpful for you? Is it a tool that you can see yourself using within your job, whether it be on YouTube or outside of YouTube? Let me know in the comments down below. I feel like there are a few things I haven't covered, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave your questions in the comments. And if you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything coming up. Be sure to check out my Small Talk Saturday playlist, links down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!